not a single grain of sand I'm drifting on it Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another grocery haul on the channel. I'm super excited um, to bring you guys a grocery haul. Hi Spike! Hi baby! My little kitty sleeping. And sorry if you guys hear this, I have a fan running in my bedroom. Um, so yes, welcome to another video. Welcome to another grocery haul. It's been a hot minute since I posted on my channel. I have a lot going on in life. What is new? Um, more life updates and all that will come in due time in the next like three to four weeks I'll be sharing some exciting news with you guys. So stay tuned for that, but today we're here for a grocery haul So I am doing this video in collaboration with a super sweet friend of mine. Her name is Jessica over at the Alvi family She's the Alvi family over on Instagram and YouTube. So I will have her information linked down below. She is seriously the sweetest. I love her. I love her family. I just love her grocery haul. She's a smaller YouTube channel and I'm excited to be able to get the chance to partner with her and kind of help her channel grow and kind of get her out there because I love her grocery hauls. She gives me some inspiration for grocery hauls. So I know you guys love grocery hauls on my channel. So you guys go over there and show her some love and let her know that I sent you. If you're coming over from Jessica's channel, hi, hey, and hello. My name is Kendra and over here on my channel you can expect to find lots of grocery hauls, day in the life videos, um, homemaking, working wife, homemaking type content, um, and things of that nature. Sometimes I'll do a cleaning video every now and then. My channel is long overdue for one actually. I haven't done one in a hot minute. But yes, I'm happy you're here. Comment down below and let me know that you're here from Jessica's channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into the grocery haul. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we have our Purcell Pro Clean. Um, we needed some more laundry soap, and I wanted the giant one, but this is the largest size I had, so that's the size I got. Um, my husband needed some more of this for the shower. He mostly cleans the bathroom. Um, I love these cheap little paper towels. They're 58 cent a roll, and I buy six, so I put the other ones up. Um, this Blushing Angel Whispers, and then the Coastal Sunshine citrus. These are the Glade candles. They both smell fantastic. And you get two for right around, around six dollars. I feel like it's a good deal. This um lemon sliced loaf cake. I actually saw a little like dessert type of vibe made with this on TikTok, so I wanted to try it. So I picked that up. Some flour tortillas. These are gonna be for taco night. I did quickly swing through Publix because Walmart did not have my raspberry leaf tea. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that recently. I've been sharing my little nightly cup of tea and I love the organic um, raspberry leaf. So Walmart didn't have it. So I had to go there anyway. I asked my husband what he wanted for dinner and he said Publix fried chicken. So pick that up. I got a mango lemonade full of sugar, but I was in the mood for it. Um, Parmesan and Romano grated cheese for a couple of dinners this week. And then I also picked my husband up a brewed sweet tea. Um, but originally I had to go in there anyway because I needed my leaf, my raspberry leaf tea. This stuff is super good too. Ladies, it's super good. So that's the few things I got at Publix. Produce, I got lots of produce this week. Um, for my husband's fruit, oranges, some strawberries, some bananas, and some grapes. Those are all the fruits I picked up for him this week. I did get him some of these cherry tomatoes on the vine for his salads. He has another half of thing of the giant you know container of salad so I just grabbed one more to get us through the week or two week week and a half maybe I got an avocado and a lime because for taco night I want to make like a small little serving of like guac just for me and my husband won't eat that some shredded lettuce for tacos this is a crown of broccoli for whatever meal one night some potatoes for whatever meal because we only have a few potatoes left so I just picked this one up moving right along to well we have some black um, forest ham here also for lunch is for my husband if he wants that for lunch moving on to some pantry items some linguine because I'm gonna make a seafood linguine one night for us I chose salmon for my pasta my husband chose shrimp for his so we needed some linguine um, some spaghetti for a spaghetti night I every night I try to ask my husband like every grocery trip I try to ask my husband to give me a dinner recommendation and so he chose a uh, spaghetti and then he also chose the seafood linguine so grab that a box of this Velveeta I like to keep this in the pantry makes for a quick side two boxes of these blueberry fruit and grain bars they were less than two dollars and you get eight of them way cheaper than Nutrigrain and in our opinion they taste better some cornbread mix I'm just gonna slap that with whatever dinner one night I don't even know some movie theater um, butter popcorn um, or Baranbacher super good and then some little seasoning packets here 
two taco seasoning packets. They're just so cheap. I like to buy a couple at a time. Um, and then sometimes if I do taco night last minute, family will join us. And so we have to make more. So you need extra seasoning. Our ranch packet seasoning. This will probably be for like a chicken meal one night. And then I'm going to make meatloaf one night. So I needed a seasoning pack for that. Two things of corned beef hash. It's kind of one of those things where if you love it, you love it. And if you don't, you don't. It's kind of like liver mush, which I've never had. Uh, but it's a questionable meat. <laughs> so corned beef hash is super good. I love it. My husband does not. So I just buy the little cans. Some lemon juice. This is also for that little TikTok recipe dessert thing I saw. Some cheese dip to go with the chips. Um, if we're not having popcorn in front of the TV a couple nights a week, we're probably having chips and dip. So um, they actually just came out with this stadium style cheddar cheese dip. At least my store just started carrying it. So I'm assuming this is like that really good cheese dip you get at a baseball game. And I love that kind of cheese dip. So I figured I would try it. And then I just got regular salsa con queso. Some pasta sauce. I have one in the pantry. I need one more for spaghetti night. And then this is the new Alfredo sauce by Bertoli. The De Italia. Um, I got the regular Alfredo. And then I got the four cheese Alfredo. So I figured those would be super good for seafood pasta night. My husband's like, grab a couple of fun juices to go with this tequila that we have sitting up here. So Walmart has their own version of Tropical Punch. And then I got the Minute Maid Mango Punch. And then I also grabbed just the Walmart brand orange juice. So I figured we could come up with a cute little cocktail to go with our Patron that is back there. We get some more ranch dressing. I usually don't grab Hidden Valley first, but I did. So it is what it is. Um, and then my husband wanted some zesty Italian for his salads. I needed honey for my tea. So I got the organic um, raw. That's probably the best one for you. And obviously the better quality, if you can find one with a comb in it, the higher quality, the better. But this is what I want with today. I got two packets of these pork ramen. Um, I've never tried them. So I figured I'd grab two packs. They were like 28 cents a piece. And if I like them, then I'll buy more. Grab applesauce for my husband. Some strawberry and then strawberry peach. Um, I'll probably eat one or two of those. But I like to throw these in his lunchbox. So, don't know if I said syrup. But we were out of syrup. So I grabbed that. Bobby Clark. Chili powder. Um, I'm all out of chili powder, so grab one of those. We're trying this um, new taco sauce. Everyone says good things about it, and I've actually had it, but I don't really remember it all that well, but I'm assuming I liked it. But anyway, I grabbed this uh, Herdez Tequila Street Sauce. It looks really good, so. And then um, this creamy avocado ranch. My friend Haley over at Home with Haley here on YouTube, she swears by this her husband loves it she loves it so I had to pick it up and try it myself and then I got two barbecue sauces this is this sweet brown sugar um, slow simmered by Kraft love that and I think it costs less than two or three dollars it's very cheap um, when I make meatloaf I do not put just ketchup on top I cut the ketchup with barbecue sauce because I don't like ketchup so I needed to buy two this week versus one because I'm going to use half of one to make the meatloaf a uh, little tomato glaze or whatever Peaches, uh, we always buy the 12 pack because my husband could eat like two a day. It's insane. I needed some chicken bouillon, so I picked up some chicken bouillon, some heavy cream. This isn't like, um, recipe specific. I just needed some, so I picked it up, small one, because I don't have anything in particular I need it from, but I like to keep it on hand in the fridge. Some sour cream, a classic yellow cake, and honestly, I picked this up because... I saw that I had an open can of icing in my pantry. I don't like to see stuff just sitting around. So I am going to probably make like cupcakes and just set them out on a cake dish. Um, like on my uh, little island or counter or whatever. That way we just have a little sweet treat we can get to. Again, not the most healthy in the world, but judge mama. Uh, everybody need a treat. So I bought that so that way I could use up the frosting in the pantry. That's my excuse. And then also to give us a little something to have to just grab. Um, and that also is a really good idea. Like the night that my family comes over. My mom, my sister, her husband, and the baby. When they come by. Um, you never know. That might be a sweet little easy dessert that I could throw together for all of us. Running low on my Cold Stone Sweet Cream International Delight. So of course I had to grab that. I bought two Fairlife Milks. They sell it like in a half gallon. So I really buy two at a time. Um... We love this stuff. I talk about it in every single 
grocery haul and that is because we seriously swear by it. My husband won't drink any other lactose free semi healthy milk. Y'all this milk is so good and it tastes and that's a lot coming from me who literally don't drink milk but it, it tastes like milk. I mean it is milk. Um, I don't know why people think lactose free milk is not milk because it literally is. Um, but what I love about this milk it is, it is it is a lot healthier for you. Um, not only does it have no growth hormones, but they have 13 grams of high quality protein in it. And then it's got 50% less sugar than regular milk from the store. Um, so the less sugar, more protein, it's ultra filtered, the cows don't have growth hormones, and then it's lactose free, which is what my husband needs. So we love Fairlife milk. It's definitely pricey. It's probably like $4 for the half gallon, but it's worth it for our health if you ask us and then of course my boys I needed to stock up I don't even know what they have left they have almost two weeks worth of food left but again I do not like for them to be low on food so I picked up 12 more days worth of food some sourdough bread organic eggs do not get me started on inflation and how much crap is costing right now eggs are ridiculous the regular store brand small eggs are costing almost five dollars where i live so i went ahead and got organic large cage-free brown eggs for four dollars and 84 cents because the regular eggs were costing four dollars and 30 cents so for 50 cent more you get a better quality egg so anyway need some more extra virgin olive oil so i can fill up my olive oil back here a ground beef um i just needed to add one more to the freezer because i need enough for spaghetti for tacos and for meatloaf and then the meat, we still have lots of chicken in there, and we still have steak from my last $500 grocery haul. But my husband, like I said, he wanted shrimp for his pasta, and I wanted salmon. So this is a good price for this piece of salmon. It is wild caught. I do not do farm raised, no thank you. Um, and it was only $11, and I can cut this into two servings. So one serving can be for my pasta, and then the other half, I can eat it with potatoes, broccoli, rice, whatever. And then back here, I got two bags of chips. These are going to be for his lunches, chips and dip, uh, snack, whatever. Um, another 24 of our dark roast because we're running low, believe it or not. I mean, we love this stuff. We drink it almost every day. I know me for sure. And then lastly, a giant box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> so yeah, that is the whole entire haul. That's going to do it for today's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it definitely was not as big as the last grocery haul I did. I know you guys really enjoyed that $500 plus grocery haul. We needed everything. And that was like the first time I had done a huge grocery shopping trip since I returned home from um, my work trip in Missouri. So um, this was just like a normal everyday run of the mill grocery haul. I think we spent a little over... 200 maybe right under 200 dollars something like that on this grocery haul so sorry about the lighting guys i'm in my bedroom so i'm not used to how i need to hold the camera for the lighting so anyway don't forget to go check out jessica's channel again if you're here from her channel hi i'm very excited to have you i hope you stick around and do not forget to subscribe like this video comment down below i love doing grocery hauls um there's like i said that's some of my favorite videos to watch and they're also some of my favorite videos to film i say that almost every grocery haul but that is because it is so so true so love you guys so much and i will catch y'all in my next video oh, bye bye